as for journalism, globally, I think the challenge for journalism is how to adapt to this rapidly changing environment. You know, technology is, uh, the digital technologies we have nowadays are really challenging traditional media organizations on how to adapt. And it's just not the media organizations themselves, we're talking about individual journalists too. The job they had once before was easy. You go and interview, you, 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 con you connect with your sources, you get the facts, and you write a story. And usually that's where the story ended. That's changing dramatically worldwide now because now stories are being published online, people make comments, and now there is an engagement aspect that was not there before, at least not immediately there. And so what we're seeing is journalists no longer are just journalists. They have to learn to become conversationalists because the story keeps going as people comment and they can respond to comment. What is experienced here in Georgia is not unusually, it's not unusual in the sense that it's also being experienced in other countries. And I'm not just saying other developing countries or transitional countries. It's happening in the United States. You still have problems with police that will beat up on people who are demonstrating, uh, not intentionally. Uh, you still have problems with journalists wanting to get access to information about the government. Uh, these are challenges that journalists face all over, and George is experiencing it now, uh, or has been experiencing it. And what, I, what is gratifying is to see that the media are now organizing themselves to assert their rights to assert the need for good journalism, to assert the need for the people's right to know so that they can judge how their government is performing. I think Egypt yeah. is, is an excellent example of what's going on in the Arab world at this yeah. time. Um, social media by itself won't do it. It takes people to use the social media tools. But whatever happens, whatever attempts at any government, not just Georgia or the Arab world or the United States, any government that tries to stop information, that tries to block it or censor it, will find that social media is now being used to bypass it. And they can't do anything about it. You know, they can try to block the technology in some way, but with the way this digital environment is, there's always a way around it. And, you know, they need to understand this. And in the in this sense, governments need to understand it's better to work with the media. It's better to have an open media, you know, uh, in regards to freedom of the press, freedom of the speech, because that way they can hear what the people are saying and they can respond, and not respond defensively, but respond to them in engaged discussion. That's what democracy is all about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's what's important. I mean, that's what is somewhat disappointing about the government's reaction to the demonstrations recently. You know, rather than saying, hey, let's talk, you know, yes, maybe some of the policemen, you know, some policemen may have been bad, we need to work with this, let's talk, let's engage, let's try to solve this problem. The government sort of took a standish, uh, you know, it was the demonstrator's problem, there were drugs or whatever. You know, that's, that's baloney. Uh, they need to, to engage it, to engage their people. They need to engage the media and, and be forthright and say, all right, yeah, mistakes were made, we'll fix it.